Hello, everybody. Um, everyone keeps asking um, why the interview with Sherelle's world got deleted. And I'll explain why. Hello. Anywho. <clears throat> So I would say it would be a big thing of miscommunication and um, people being unhumble. Hello. Hi. Anyways, so um, pretty much we, so this is how the interview got deleted from Sherelle's world. We pretty much, you know, um, were supposed to do an interview with her weeks ago. We got rescheduled maybe two to three times, which we never talked about. That's fine. Um, people are busy. We're busy too, so we didn't really appreciate that. But we never spoke on it. And, um... You know, we would get, like, the notification, like, the night before or the day of, you know, when there's other things that we could have been doing with our lives. Anywho, um, yesterday, and I've made it very clear that I have no problems with Amber, okay? But she is the one that talks to us. She's the one that reached out to Vinny about doing the interview we never reached out to them they reached out to Vinny, and Vinny asked me do you think this is okay like should i do this and i was like oh yeah i watch her all the time um she she covers the real housewives of atlanta you know bravo vanderpump rules you know she covers a lot of stuff and she's kind of funny i thought so I said, yeah, why not? Plus she has like 200K subscribers on YouTube. Why not? Um, had I known things were gonna get so messy, I would have been like, no, let's just, you know, do our own thing the way we've been doing. Anywho, um, so we got rescheduled like two to three times. Um, she had something to do she had a more important story to cover this is the things i'm being told by one of her employees and you know we're starting to get a little irritated but we're like okay we understand you know um but the you know we did one interview before we did this interview that you guys saw before it got deleted last night and she didn't like it because um, she thought that it was going to be not a good look for him. or Because um, she could hear me talking in the background because he was answering questions that I felt like weren't truly how he felt. Because um, I'm with him, obviously. So I hear the truth and he's like not saying how he actually felt in that situation when he was dating amber an adopted puppy so i was like you know you know she let us know about a week later that she wasn't going to post the interview and that she wanted to um to do another interview we we're like fine no problem okay so this is like the third time you know mind you we both have jobs we both have things we're doing I think he canceled his jujitsu class yesterday to do the interview. You know, like, it's just shit, you know. It's it's just shit going on. So anyways, um, but I was like, this is a great platform. I think she's nice. I thought she was nice. She's not so nice. She's actually very rude. But anywho, um... We did the interview. Vinny did it by himself because she first said, Oh, Vinny, do you want her in the interview with you? 
or do you want her not in it? Vinny said multiple times while we were on, you know, like, um, camera with her, which you guys didn't see. He said, yes, 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 I want her. Yeah, I want her. And I said, I don't think, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then Vinny started screaming at me saying, you need to make a decision. And I said, okay, fine, I'll be on the interview with you. Then like a couple days later, I get a call from Amber and she's like, they just want Vinny. I said, no problem, because I don't care. Like, I really don't. Um, My part in Vinny's life is not only being his significant other, but I um he he speaks a lot about his ADHD and not being able to remember things and we have a time calendar app like we keep everything like written down and um it helps him you know and uh keeping him on time you know he'll go to the gym for like 6 hours and forget we had other things to do so that's my job so I took off work I had someone switch shifts with me so that I could do this interview with him tomorrow yesterday and even though I wasn't in the inner in the in the interview I made sure that he was on time so when I called Amber at 10 40 a.m. she's in Texas so whatever time that is in Texas she's like hey and I like Amber and until about maybe now anyways um she's like make sure you call me 20 minutes before the interview and i'm like amber it's 10 40 she's like oh it is oh my god and i think sherelle just woke up too and i was just like okay well we're we're ready you know we got the tripod set up we are waiting on the link for you to send us so that we can get on you know the live with you twice she sent it didn't go through the third time she sent it at that time Vinny was like drink some protein i don't know what happened but by 10 58 two minutes before the interview um he's like i have to go to the bathroom i have to take a number two and i was like well what am i supposed to do with that like tell you not to you're not going to get a great interview out of him if he's holding in something he needs to let out. So, anywho, while he's doing that, which only took him like six, seven minutes to do, Sherelle decided to, you know, make small talk, you know. Um, she said that Tracy had been an hour late. Everybody she... she um, interviews is always late when the first interview we did with her we weren't late and this interview we wouldn't have been late had they been on time anywho um she's just you know making small talk but then she's also like everybody I interview is always late and then when I saw that after she posted it on her page I was just kind of upset because I'm like we are not late we're on time like, had I not called Amber, she probably would have forgot about the whole interview. And then Sherelle, you know, goes on our live because I, we, you know, you guys, you always, you guys know that we always go live, um, especially when we're eating stuff that I cook, stuff like that. She called me fat. She said that um, I'm canceled. She said um she didn't even want to interview Vinny she said a lot of shit and so yeah I called her a bitch Vinny did not call her a bitch Vinny barely even spoke he walked he walked off which kind of pissed me off because he had a lot to say off camera but um yeah and um I'm just like you know are, are you in shape are all your employees in shape you want to fat shame me bitch while I'm in the gym trying to take care of myself, trying to make things better for myself, I'm fat. I'm fat. All right, whatever. So anyways, um, so all I have to say, and then she also said that she was going to call the producers, um, Sharp Entertainment, 
they're not even interested in this bullshit. They, they're the ones that told us not to even interview with you. Because maybe they knew you were already messy. Okay? For Amber, I, I truly apologize to you. But you'd ha you have to take some acknowledgement for the part that you played. You really forgot what time it was. And you want to make me look dumb. And Sherelle, you're a horrible person. Like, you, you seem so friendly on camera. Like, I used to like you a lot. You're crazy. And Vinny didn't call you a bitch. I called you a bitch, okay? So stop telling Perry lies. And I wish that we... And we still have the footage from the live from last night. So if you want to keep, you know, saying lies, we can go ahead and re-upload the shit. That's it. And that's all I really have to say. You guys reached out to him to interview him, okay? We never reached out to you, even though I was watching you even before I ever met him. And Perry, for you to say, you know, hopefully this girl doesn't use you like Amber and Puppy, that's just trifling. Especially after like when we did the first interview and you're like, damn, I wouldn't give these bitches shit. That's what you said, verbatim. And then you say, I can see why Amber left you. You guys have to know that I keep receipts. I keep motherfucking receipts. I keep receipts. So just don't do it. Like, let's not go to war. It'll be very messy. It really will. Okay? I'm glad that you have such a great platform, Sherelle. Um, maybe more people would interview with you if you weren't so messy. Um, there were a lot of people that hit up my inbox that are on 98 Day Fiance and Love After Lockup that told me why they never wanted to interview with you. And I spoke to the producer this morning. It's Father's Day. He has no time for you or us or anything. <laughs> Who cares? So leave it alone. I tried to call your whatever person that you gave my number to yesterday that tried to clear it up when you re-uploaded the video and then you took it down again. I, sh she lives in Temecula, the same city as my mom in California. And then you put your little raggedy ass on the um, phone and it's like, now blocker, 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 blocker. How old are you? Are you on medication? Like you sound crazy. I was trying to make peace. You don't want that? That's fine. Okay? And that's all I have to say about that. Bye. <sighs> Get on my damn nerves. And Sunday is supposed to be a, like a day of rest. Rest, bitch. Get your lace front better. Like, what the fuck? I don't understand. I really don't understand. So anyways, if this is fat, you guys, please let me know. I've been working out. Um, I've been trying to do the best I can. If this is fat, please let her go on her platform and do a twirl for me. I want to see. And have all her employees do the same thing since she called me a fat bitch last night on the live. Okay? All right. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs>